world. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising where the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait before you do any damage on land or at sea or to the trees until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard how many were sealed, 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe, and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the, the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne, and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words. Amen, praise and glory, and wisdom and thanksgiving, and honour and power, and strength to our God, forever and ever. Amen. One of the elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are, dressed in white robes, and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my Lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lord. Sorry, in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response oral psalm, if we could say the response at the beginning and end, please, and we'll say the psalm together. Such are the men who, who seek, seek your, your face, face O Lord. Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place, the man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. 
Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Surely everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing a crowd, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today the church invites us to raise our hearts and minds to the immense multitude of men and women from all works of life, who followed Christ while on earth and are now enjoying God's presence in heaven. The Feast of All Saints not only glorifies the canonized saints who were special models of radical discipleship to Christ, but also those countless uncanonized saints who successfully lived good Christian lives on earth and it calls all of us to live by the norms of the Beatitudes, though difficult, but not impossible, so that we too one day may be saints in heaven. St. Augustine found it hard to live the Beatitudes, but when he read the lives of the saints, he said, what these ordinary men and women have done why not me? Without doubt, these men and women must have had a conf to confront difficulties similar to our own, occasionally giving in to impatience, laziness, or pride, and perhaps even sinned greatly. Nevertheless, they repented and knew how to sacrifice themselves for Christ and fellow mankind. Today we are celebrating the solemnity of all saints, and tomorrow we will be commemorating the faithful departed. These two deeply felt liturgical celebrations offer us a special opportunity to meditate upon eternal life. In modern, is modern man still waiting for this eternal life, or does he consider it part of a mythology now obsolete? In our time, 
more than in the past. People are so absorbed by earthly things that at times they find it difficult to think about God as the protagonist of history and of our own existence. By nature, however, human life reaches out for something greater which transcends it. The human yearning for justice, truth, and full happiness is irrepressible. In the face of the enigma of death, the desire for the hope of meeting their loved ones again in heaven is alive in many, just as there is a strong conviction that the last judgment will reestablish justice and the expectation of a definitive encounter in which each person will be given his or her reward. Everything passes. God alone never changes. Though my flesh and my heart waste away, God is the rock of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73. All Christians call to holiness are men and women who live firmly anchored to this rock, their feet on the ground, but their hearts already in heaven, the final dwelling place of friends of God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and upon to Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray for the Catholic Church throughout the world. We pray for Pope Francis, Bishop Mark, and our parish priests, Father Lucas and Father Rogers. We pray for all Christians that we may be united in the truth. Lord, hear us. We pray for justice and peace in our world. We pray for an end to the suffering in Israel and Palestine, Ukraine, and Russia. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our community. We pray to the saints that, like them, we will be open to God's grace in our lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are sick, fearful, lonely, and grieving. We remember especially those who are homeless and on the margins of society. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have gone before us. May they rest in the peace of the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us take a moment in silence to pray for our own intentions.
Let us ask Our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou, art thou among women, women <coughs> and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today by your gift we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you turn down on my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Amen. 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 Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. As we adore your God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.